Hey there one and all, this is Nintendo Death Machine here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. This is part 21, and in the... no not 21, part 22. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't want to go screwing up and messing up my parts and getting them all muddled up. Um, so in the last episode, yeah, we got to Mount Freeze, and this episode we are going to take it on. So... This dungeon I am not so familiar with, and... I don't know if I'm well tooled up to go through here. We have plenty of plain seeds. <laughs> yeah, we have two plain seeds and one reviver seed. That kind of needs to go away. Because um, plain seeds are just trash, so you don't need any of that. Just rubbish. Yeah, you don't need you don't need rubbish in your inventory. So gonna check and take. Yeah, I'm going to take one Reviver Seed just in case Bulbas also happens to die. Uh, I'm not so worried about me dying though. Okay, I'm going to bring this one Max Elixir. Um, I basically want to bring everything that I can. That I need to. Because this is the final dungeon in the Fugitive segment. And then once we've done with this stuff, we can then go back to home and get all our stuff back, you know, we can go out and do missions and get max elixirs to our heart's content, we can get apples and stuff, so really this is just the final st final dungeon before we go back home and get all our stuff back. So, you know what, I am going to take my um, Reviver Seed, so yeah, I, I'd say we're pretty tooled up now, okay, so we're going to save, and... We're going to take on this dreaded dungeon, which um, I'm not too familiar with. <laughs> so I think we have to... Oh no, we do, do we have to speak to Bob or sort? No, we don't. Okay. So we can just go up to the cave and the cutscene will initiate. He'll ask you to go to Mount Freeze or Snow Path. Obviously, choose Mount Freeze if you want to. If you want to gain some levels, then be free to choose Snow Path. But I'm just going to go underway. Blaze it. <laughs> going to blaze this. Going to blaze this up in the hails. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go up the staircase. Hmm. So, did we gain a few episode or gain a few levels in the last episode? I think we did when we beat Articuno. Um, but... Yeah, I think we did gain a few levels in the last episode, actually, because when we went to... Well, when we started the Frosty Forest, we was like level 20, like level 20, yeah, I think we were around about level 20, 21, something like that. Now we're level 23, so yeah, I think we did gain a few levels in the last episode. And why are there Dragon-type Pokemon in this dungeon? What the hell is a Shell... Is it a Shellgon? Yeah, what the hell is a Shellgon doing in a place like this? Yeah, Shellgon is a Dragon-type, by the way. It evolves into a Salamance, my favourite... Dragon type Pokemon. Um, as I've already said, I have expressed my love for Dragonite in the most sincerest and sweetest way possible. <laughs> yeah, I really do not like Dragonite at all. He is the most annoyingest Dragon type Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. <laughs> I remember what you did to me on Pokemon Crystal when I was fighting Lance in the Elite Four. You totally kicked my ass to high heaven and I had to level up so many times to finally beat your ass. I think it's the, I think the first time it's not so bad, but when the when you go in there for the second time is when it gets really rough. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of something here for this Max Elixir, because then we have I think we have two Max Elixirs now in our inventory, because I know I consumed quite a lot. When we were going through the frosty, frosty forest in uh, the last episode, especially when we were fighting Articuno, because I think I had to use one there as well. By the way, there is no boss in this dungeon, so we don't have to worry about fighting some gargantuan, nasty-looking monster at the end of this dungeon. <laughs> so yeah, you can relax. <laughs> it's just. The dungeon, that's the challenge, really, is just getting through here. But we have Absol to help us out, and Absol's actually quite a powerful Pokemon. As you can see, he's level 20, much more powerful than what our Elekid was. 
And uh, when we get back, I think I might train up Alekid and get him a few levels. Because I want to try and bring him through the next, like, the, the next dungeon we take on when we get back to our home base. The next major dungeon, anyway. I think the next major dungeon is actually a very low level Pokemon. Like, it's a reasonable level for Alekid, I think, to gain a few levels in. Um... And I think we have to make two trips through that dungeon anyway, so I will take Alekid through there so we can get a few levels in that dungeon. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's basically the plans for when we get back, is to get Alekid up a few levels. And also I want Pikachu to learn a good thunder attack, electric type attack, that he can use to his advantage. The only dungeon I'm really worried about at this point in the game is probably the last dungeon of the main story. Um, the dungeon before the last dungeon of the main story, I'm not. I, I am kind of skeptical about. I do think that there are possibilities that things can go wrong on the way through there, but uh, as I always say, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. But I'm just full warning you now that. The dungeons are going to start getting a lot rougher, and um, especially the last dungeon, the main story, can get pretty tough. So I want to make sure that I am reason a reasonable level to take on that dungeon. But we're a reasonable level at the moment to take on Mount Freeze, I think. <clears throat> the reason why I'm not worried about the dungeon... Uh, before the final dungeon is because it's a ground and fire type uh, and Bulbasaur is super effective against ground types because grass is super effective against ground Pikachu can easily take out the fire types so it it's not really going to be that much of a problem in, in all honesty <laughs> I have way too many... why is gravel rock in there? yeah throw that away so I can exchange that over. We got plenty of apples, which is a good thing. I know where all those apples came from, actually. I have no clue. But, what the hey? The more the merrier. <laughs> I probably got them from previous dungeons, you know, like Mount Blaze, because I think I've still got some items from Mount Blaze, actually. What status has he got? I don't know what that is. Did that, does that increase his attack? I don't know. Yeah, because whenever you see like a shield above their name or a fist like that, it means that they've got something added on to their statuses, like stats or whatever. Yeah, they've got stuff added to it to increase their performance in battle. I don't think I pointed that out actually, so that's the first time I pointed it out to you. <clears throat> Alright, what's this uh, power band? Actually, you know who can equip that? Absol can. So I'll give Absol a power band. So I'm going to have to eat something here. Oh, I have plenty of ore and berries to suffice. I will give you the power band. So you can take that, and you can go ahead and equip it. Oh, I already gave it to him, okay. <laughs> Apparently I already gave it to him. So now we've all got the power. Nintendo power! <sighs> and Absol grew another level. Well, his first level. It's now level 21. His first level on our team, should I say. Uh, we're going to get rid of Taunt, because... Lyra is actually a much better move than Taunt. So, in fact, I don't even know what Taunt does, but I know what Lear does, and Lear is actually quite a good move. Um, so yeah, Lear basically decreases the defense of a Pokemon, but by a lot. It decreases it a lot more than what um, Screech. I'm not sure if Screech actually decreases more, because Screech is a good. Uh, defense decreasing move actually and that's what a lot of Pokemon tend to use in this game is Screech 
you don't really see that many Pokemon use Leer as such. Actually, no, I think it's the other way around. I think more Pokemon use Leer than Screech. Because Screech is an electric type move. So, like, only a lot of electric type Pokemon can learn that move. But a lot of Pokemon can learn Leer, so I think Leer is a lot more common to use. And trust me, when you get to the later dungeons, Leer and Screech is going to be your kryptonite. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It is going to absolutely destroy you when you get to the later dungeons. Because um, you'll start running out of stuff to heal yourself with. You'll start running out of stuff to give your PP back so you can't fight back against the monsters that you are facing up against and it just becomes a whole big mess <laughs> okay chime co calm down only 62 exp from that <laughs> well chime co's aren't worth diddly squat However, a Zangoose might be worth a lot more, and there are two Zangooses, so I'm in for a bit of trouble here. Let's use Brick Break, get rid of these. Yeah, thanks a lot, Bulbasaur, thank you for doing that. <laughs> I may have sound sarcastic there, but I wasn't. <laughs> oh, Bulbasaur grew to level 24, which is good. So, yeah, is actually quite an easy Pokemon to raise, so... There's no surprise that he got to level 24 before Pikachu, because Pikachu's a lot harder to raise as a Pokemon. I haven't been playing Pokemon Blue recently. Uh, why, why did you pick up another Power Band? Oh, well, that'll go into storage when I get back. <laughs> Just like everything else, mostly, I think. Well, some of those apples can definitely go into storage. Um... Because I want to keep a good stock on apples in storage. As like backup. <clears throat> so let's find that staircase. Yeah, we should almost be there now, actually. I did. So I said in my Metroid episode that Mount Freeze was ten floors long. Uh, I think it is, but like to get to the checkpoint anyway, then you got the peak to go through. I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I think Mount Freeze does definitely have a peak, considering all the other mountains have. And no, there are actually more floors than 10, so um, I don't know how many there are. See, I told you I'm not very familiar with this dungeon at all. I only know, like, bits and pieces. Like, I was even surprised that a Shellgon was in here. I'd be so cool if a Salamance was in here, though, in this dungeon, but I don't think they appear until the last dungeon in the game, in the story. Not last dungeon in the game, because we've got the after game to do after this. Which is probably going to be the more fun part of the game, actually, where we get to do whatever the hell we want. Go exploring and stuff. Get our ranks up and, uh... Get some Pokemon, legendaries, do some new dungeons. It's all going to be fun. And get some new friend areas. Use Wonder Mail codes and stuff. And the Wonder Mail codes that I do pr um, present on the Let's Play, you can use those Wonder Mail codes if you want to. They will work on your cartridge, so um, so if they work for me, they'll definitely work for you. So basically, when I use the Wonder Mail codes, I will actually do that all on screen, so you can actually see the Wonder Mail code. And then, if you want to use that Wonder Mail code, you can then go ahead and use it. Which is quite cool, so. 
Because I don't think there are many Let's Plays out there of this that people have actually done that. Have done a full length Let's Play doing the after game showing Wonder Mail codes. I'm not sure if there are any, but there probably is, but I'm not aware of it, so... <laughs> I mean, I have seen people do the after game, but I don't know if they put Wonder Mail codes in. Whether they did it on screen or off screen. But I'm going to do it all on screen just for you guys. Hey, he used a reviver seed. No, that's that's not that's not fair. Only I get to use reviver seeds. <laughs> that's going to turn into a plain seed, and I'll probably end up picking that up and not go straight into my inventory. And you know what? That's you know what's going to happen to that that plain seed? It's going to get launched. Oh no, it's not. Well, never mind. Huh. Guess it's not. All those fury... I hate fury swipes. That's a dangerous move. Fury swipes is a dangerous move, especially when it does a lot of damage to you. If it starts doing 200 damage against you... Um, or, or not 200. 200 you would be dead. <laughs> no, if it starts doing, like, 50 damage... Yeah, that's when... Things are looking pretty rough, huh? Okay, at this point I'm just trying to find the staircase now so we can get through it quickly. We have picked up a few bits of money through this, actually, so... At least something good came out of it. Maybe there are 15. Alright, I reckon there are... I, I bet you there are 15. I can bet your life on it. Oh, there's another apple there. Uh, that would actually be quite useful, so I'm going to replace that with another app well there's no point is there really um why do i keep picking up gravel rock where does rat where the hell does gravel rock come from it, it just like comes up randomly in my inventory without me even realizing that it's in there like i didn't even know <laughs> that was in there you just sneak in there without me even knowing all the time even when i'm playing on my own it's just it's just, it's just there, it doesn't want to go away. <laughs> oh, survivors. I swear this dungeon is not 20 floors long. I honestly swear that this dungeon is not 20 floors. Well, it's definitely not 15 then, is it? Because if it was 15, we'd be at the checkpoint by now. Ah, uh, getting dizzy from hunger. Uh, I don't really want to use another apple. Holy crap, 26 damage. That is not good at all. Yikes. <laughs> and I bet there's probably going to be... A di yeah, I knew it. I freaking knew it. There would have to be a dead end up here. Absol, go ahead. Use your... Unleash your mighty wrath. Kill the survivor. Use quick attack or whatever moves you have, I don't know. Do anything, don't die. That's all I'm going to say to you. Never mind, I did it for you. <laughs> I saved your life, Absol. You can thank me in money. Give me, give me all your cash. Give me all your money. I need it to build an empire. Huh. Oh, oh, no. no. I ain't having that happen. Ornberry? Yeah, let's try to use that. Good thing I bought plenty of Ornberries then, huh? <laughs> See what I mean? Screech is a deadly move because... If the Pokemon is a really high level, it can do a lot of damage. See, look at that. 56... And another 56. And he's... How the hell did he get paralyzed? I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't want to come intact with another survivor, so just get me to the staircase and everything will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna. Where's that plain seed gone to? I'll eat that, and then I'll eat this gummy. So there we go. Right. Okay, we're at the stoppage point. Okay, so I'm gonna save it, and we will end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode, let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. We shall finish off Mount Freeze and meet up with Nine Tails. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, buddy. See you in the next video, and goodbye.